MGTOW movement. MGTOW is a significant movement, boasting millions of men opting out of relationships for some pretty weighty reasons. The court system, particularly family courts, is often seen as shockingly biased and tilted in favor of women. Now, ponder this for a moment. Would you willingly take the gamble of potentially losing your children, your house, your hard-earned money, your car, and quite possibly your job and sanity, among other things? Let's be clear here. Men do desire relationships. It's not like we're inherently averse to them. It's just that when we look around, we can't help but notice divorce rates soaring above 50%. We see magazines and websites enthusiastically encouraging women to explore extramarital avenues or simply walk out on their spouses to find themselves. And what do the courts do? They often grant these women half of a man's possessions at the time of divorce, along with a hefty chunk of his future earnings spanning decades. And let's not even get into the well-documented issues it can cause for children. But hey, if you feel the need to find yourself, go right ahead, sister. To put it in perspective, women secure full custody a whopping 85% of the time, with mainstream media often rallying behind this statistic. Take, for instance, the Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt situation. They end up with a 50-50 to -50 split custody arrangement, which you might think is a fair and unbiased decision. But no, what does the media say? Big loss for Angelina. For some eye-opening insights, tune in to shows like The Real. It's quite an educational experience. Even the religious, conservative, family values gal there chats openly about keeping guys on standby in her DMs, just in case things with her husband don't pan out as expected. One out of every seven men finds himself in a pretty messed up situation. And it's not about stepdads, we're talking about a scenario where one in seven women has cheated on their partner, gotten pregnant, and hoodwinked the partner into raising a child that isn't his. To make matters worse, even if these men eventually discover the truth, they're still on the hook for child support. Paternity tests. And here's the kicker. Some feminists and the court system are actually pushing to eliminate paternity tests altogether because they claim it's unfair if a woman can't deceive a guy into raising a child that isn't biologically his. Now, let's take a look at how people react when they post about divorce. When a man opens up about his divorce, it's often about the overwhelming depression and thoughts of ending it all, the heart-wrenching longing to be with his kids and the exhaustion from working over 60 hours a week only to take home less than 20 grand a year, thanks to alimony and child support. I mean, can you imagine? It makes you wonder if, on average, around 11 men a day check out of this world because of the torment they face during their divorce or custody hearings. Double standards. Now, let's switch gears and look at how women tend to post about divorce. They often sound elated, saying they feel free and can now spend quality time with their kids. Of course, it's free they're walking away with cash and prizes. Their ex-partner might have been earning a cool $100,000 a year, and now they're reaping $75,000 of that as a reward for leaving him, while he gets to keep only $25,000. I've tried sharing this reality check with women before, but the response I got was, well, if a man has to work all those hours to pay alimony and child support, he won't have time for the kids anyway. All I could do was roll my eyes. You know, ladies, it wouldn't hurt to put yourselves in our shoes for a moment. Imagine committing to a serious relationship, building a family, and then constantly being bombarded by a world that seems hell-bent on pushing you to cheat or leave. It's every way you look, from glossy magazine covers to every social media feed, even the headlines in mainstream newspapers, all whispering in your ear to abandon ship and indulge in one-night stands. So, after battling this incessant chorus, you finally decide, all right, that's what I'll do. And as a result, you lose all contact with your kids. They'll grow up without knowing you, statistically more likely to struggle as adults because, well, that's the unfortunate trend for children raised by single parents. But here's the kicker. You not only lose your kids, but you also have to hand over half of everything you had before you even met this person, half of everything you acquired during your time together, and half of your paycheck every single month to them personally. Oh, and let's not forget, another quarter of your earnings is supposedly for the kids. 
but if you happen to spend it all, you can simply tell the courts that it's just not enough. And guess what? They'll squeeze you for more. Modern Relationships Welcome to Modern Relationships for Men, folks. No wonder only 3 out of every 500 men decided to tie the knot last year. You see, we're not oblivious. We hear your calls for men who listen, and trust me, we are listening. We're watching, too, and the message we're sending is a simple no, thank you. It's not that we don't love you ladies. Many of us would have loved to become fathers. However, we refuse to put ourselves in harm's way, potentially facing a world of pain and utter destruction. And you can tease us all you want with those man-baby remarks or the oh-so-popular who hurt you line that the mainstream media thinks is just so cute. But this is a game even Brad Pitt couldn't win, one that Jeff Bezos couldn't conquer, even you and McGregor. Heck, Kim Kardashian, in her wisdom, declared that Kanye needed company and shouldn't be alone the very week she left him to embark on a self-discovery journey. Johnny Depp had his finger sliced off, exposed her falsehoods in court, and still has to pay her. To make matters worse, he can't find a job and may face legal consequences if he can't keep up with those settlement payments. So, ladies, if you want men back in the marriage game, it starts with you. Calling us a man-child for looking at the stark realities isn't going to cut it. You need to begin demanding equality in the courts, and it wouldn't hurt to make being a loving, faithful wife trendy again. Until then, mark my words, it'll be two out of every 500 men next year, maybe one in 500 after that, and soon enough, it'll hit a big fat zero. And that's it for today on Sigma Traits. Make sure you hit that like button. Smash that subscribe button. And don't forget to ring that notification bell so you can be the first to know when my new video drops. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. See you all tomorrow.